What's up everybody, it's Hagen from Great Northern Woods Vape Review and I've got a dual review for you today. Uh, first item I'm going to be reviewing is the Derringer by Praxis. Um, no, that's not the drip tip that comes with it. Um, I'll discuss why that drip tip's on there in a second. Second product is going to be something that most of you have probably already tried. Old Dirty Custard by Gate City Vapors. It's a good juice. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. So, first up, let's take a few vapes and I'll get into it. So, this Derringer RDA, um, I didn't buy it. I was at the vape shop and um, I was talking to the one of the owners there, and you know I had seen the Derringer, you know, online and around here and there, and Never had tried it, never really seen a review of it, never really been interested. But, you know, I was there, I was like, curious, so I said, hey, man, how do, you, how do you like the Derringer? He did not like it <laughs> at all. He was like, I fucking hate it. It's like, oh, shit, really, why? And um, his main complaint with it was that the RDA gets very, very hot. Drip tip gets hot. I mean, it's just, it's a very hot RDA. Um, I've noticed, because I was vaping on it last night, I figured, you know, before I shoot out a review, let's, let's vape on it for a little while and kind of develop an opinion on it. That way I'm not flying by the seat of my pants on camera. Um, so it does get fairly warm. You know, after about three, four rips, um, the drip tip starts heating up. And I mean, it's not to the point of burning your lips when you go to hit it, but you know, it's, you know, you hit it and you're like, oh, okay, that's warm. Um, so that's my number one complaint about it. My number two complaint, uh, when I show you the inside, you'll see, because it happens every time. So, you got your drip tip, you got your top cap, you got your deck section, but also, you've got, oh wow, it didn't happen this time. Okay, so, you got your top cap, you've got this. This little ring right here, it's got your airflow options. Uh, it's just three sets of three holes. Um, you know, two of them across from each other for dual coil, and one by itself, obviously, for single coil. Um, didn't happen this time, but every time I take this top cap off, this inner ring sticks to it, I pull it off, and then it falls. So, I mean, if you're somebody that has pets and it falls on your carpet, it's all going to be covered in pet hair, and that's gross. Uh, that happened to me last night. I went to just, you know, drip in it and pull it off, fell, and had cat hair on it. And I'm like, okay, that's disgusting. So I went and I had to wash it off. You know, it's not a huge deal. It's a little bit annoying, though. You know, when I compare it to, you know, say my Doge V2, which is my go-to RDA. I, I love that thing to death, as you've seen in pretty much every video I've had other than my Dark Horse review. I'm using my Doge. A um, couple reasons for that, and I covered that in the Doge. Uh, post holes are big. You know, it's, it's an easy RDA to work with. But this one, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not a bad RDA. Um, actually, I need to get a new camera, but you can't really see it. But the juice well in this is surprisingly deep for something this size. I, I mean, this thing, this thing's itty bitty tiny. Um, I mean, if you're one of those people that runs an 18350 battery and, you know, you like your little incognito vape, something that just fits totally in your hand, I mean, I'm running an 18650, but, I mean, if you're somebody that likes your smaller mods, this would probably be a good RDA for you. Um, me, I don't really care. You know, I don't care if my fucking vape is this big. It doesn't really make a difference to me. Um, so, I mean, like I said, this was a free RDA. Uh, so yeah, I have it. I'm shooting on a review. It's not terrible. It's a good one to just kind of have on the shelf for you know whatever. You know, have a different build on each one of your RDAs. You know, it, it's cool. But if I was to lose this today, would I go out and buy one today or tomorrow? And the answer is no, I wouldn't. Um, I mean, I don't honestly. I don't even know how much these are going for uh, online. I'm seeing them anywhere from fifteen to thirty bucks. You know, depending on 
what site you're looking at, uh, whether it's eBay or a vape site or whatever. So, I mean, it's not a terribly expensive RDA, but it, it's just not for me. Uh, you may love it. You may like things that, you know, if, if you're not vaping constantly, you know, just rip after rip after rip. If you're one of those people that takes two or three rips every 30 minutes, it should be great for you. It's not going to heat up that much. I vape a lot. Um, you know, I'm blasting through about 10 mils of juice a day. So, you know, for me, it's just, it doesn't quite fit for me. But, you know, whatever. It's a neat little contraption, and I like it. Um, see here, up here. You can see Praxis Vapors, and then if I can figure this out, Derringer Atomizer. So, and um, it's got a little lightning bolt right. Uh, ooh, if we can see it, yay, we can. Okay, there's a little lightning bolt there where your drip tip goes in. So, yeah, yeah, cool little design engraved in there. I mean, it's neat. You know, I like it, but um. Like I said, it's just not really for me. So, I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this RDA, like, a 4 or a 5. <laughs> I, mean, I feel bad. Um, you know, I don't like giving things bad reviews, but, I mean, if it's a bad product, I'm going to give it an honest review. But, like I said, it's not terrible. It's just not for me. So, there. Sorry, that was a very long-winded explanation. On to the, on to the old dirty custard. This this flavor is is great. Um, it's a strawberry custard, and uh, yeah, it's it's fantastic. Comes in at zero six and three. Uh, you can see, boom, right there. So zero on the top, three in the middle, six on the bottom. So oh, that's funny. You got different little faces on there. Zero, three, and six. So. Yeah, um, labeling on here, I really like it. It's pretty creative. You know, the whole strawberry head with the, you know, leafy dreadlock things. It's cool. Um, yeah. Sorry, I had to take a vape. Um, the custardiness is not like an overwhelming cream type flavor, but the strawberry is also not overpowering and just like okay all this is a strawberry they really found that really good mix of the creamy and the fruity um it's delicious i love it it's not something that you know i want to vape on like only this juice all day uh it's a little it's a little thick for that like the flavor is just a little bit heavy for that um something for all day i prefer something a little lighter uh that wastegate it you know, even though it's a raspberry cheesecake, it the raspberry I feel like it just kind of lightens up that flavor just just enough for you know me to be able to vape on it all day. But I never vape one flavor all day. I'm, I'm kind of ADD with my flavors, which is why I always have three RDAs ready to go and looked up and you know just switch them out. But um, yeah, the juice uh, you know, I'd probably give it uh, nine point seven out of ten. I mean, it's really good. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you don't like desserty flavors, like I said with the wastegate, if you don't like desserty flavors, you're not gonna like it. But if you do like fruity desserty flavors, get it. You'll like it. But you know, this flavor's been around for quite a while now, so chances are most of you watching this video have either tried it already, or you may have it at your house right now. So you know, like I said in the wastegate video. You know, Old Dirty Custard, most of you have probably developed an opinion on it, but this video is for those of you that have not. So, if you have the opportunity to go out and pick up Old Dirty Custard, definitely do it. Um, and if you like smaller RDAs, you like the little incognito type style, then go pick up a Derringer. Uh, Juice Wells, like I said, surprisingly deep for something of this size. Uh, so, yeah. Until next time, keep vaping. Peace.